What's up everybody, I'm Alan Kavana for Speed Sport. NASCAR was back, IndyCar had a wild day on the streets of Nashville, and some of the best on dirt are tuning up for the Knoxville Nationals. If you missed anything, you are in the right spot. This is your Gas and Go, presented by Cometic Gasket. First up, wreckers, then checkers for IndyCar. Yeah, you heard that right. Check this out. Early on in the inaugural Music City GP in Nashville, Marcus Erickson goes airborne after running into the back of Sebastian Bourdais. It would not matter. A fix, some pit strategy, and great driving put Erickson back out front, and he held on for his second win of the year. Next up, NASCAR was back after a two-week break, and a Hendrick Motorsports driver went to victory lane, but not the one many expected. Kyle Larson forced his way to the front of the field, with teammate Chase Elliott having to play catch-up after flat-spotting his tires. In the end, it was Kyle Larson getting his first Watkins Glen victory and number five on the season. Next up for Larson, the Knoxville Nationals and some of his biggest competition on the dirt spent the weekend getting ready for the big event. Sheldon Houghtonshield swept the Ironman 55 weekend for the World of Outlaws. Meanwhile, at Knoxville Raceway, Gio Selzy topped the 360 Nationals and David Gravel won the Capitani Classic on Sunday night. Finally, let's go up to Road America in Wisconsin. Action Express teammates Pippo Durrani and Felipe Nasser exercised some patience to put their Cadillac DPI in victory lane on Sunday during the IMSA Sports Car Weekend. It's the second consecutive win for the duo. Now you're all caught up. For Speed Sport, I'm Alan Kavana. This was your Gas and Go presented by Cometic Gasket. Is your engine sealed by Cometic? Visit Cometic.com. Gas and Go is now available as a podcast, part of the Speed Sport network of podcasts. To subscribe, just go to speedsport.com slash podcasts or visit your favorite podcasting platform. <laughs>